Good evening, gentlemen, and welcome to our second part of the Anani News Behind the Scenes Green Screen Color Key Tutorial. If you haven't seen the first part, please have a brief look at it, because we'll use the footage we've recorded within part 1. As you can see, I'm using Adobe After Effects and I skipped the Open New Project dialog. The settings for my project are 720p 30 frames per second HDV footage. Adobe After Effects is pretty intuitive. On the left side you have the files you have imported into your project. Beneath it is the timeline and right in the middle is the preview screen. You can drag and drop your footage from the left side into your preview, as I'm doing here. And it will directly appear in the timeline below. I'm trimming the footage just by moving at the edges because I only want to use a certain part of my footage. In case you know that the person in front of the green screen will only move a little, mask that area by dragging a rectangle mask over it. This is useful when areas of your green screen are not well lit and there are color differences within the green. You basically cut out the bad lit areas. Now select Layer, Effects and then the Key Light effect. With the color picker, pick the green color of the screen and if your green screen was evenly lit and you click Transparency, all the green in your picture will disappear. Now we go to Screen and Pre-Blur. It blurs the matte edges before applying the key. The advantages are better and smoother edges. Change to Screen Matte View. Now you have a black and white image. The white part is the person in front of the green screen. The black part is what you want to replace. You can see there are lighter parts within the black and darker parts within the white. Use the clip white function to remove all the dark spots within the white and the clip black function to remove the light parts within the black. Now click to final result. It should look pretty good right now. To further avoid freaky edges, use Screen Shrink. Shrink the edges by 1.5 pixels. That should do the trick. We finished the preparations of our green screen footage and we can replace the, the background now. Drag and drop your background image into your preview area, then drag it below your green screen footage in the timeline area. Basically, we're finished now and we can render a host in the virtual studio. This is what you need to produce a basic green screen effect. There are plenty of ways to continue here and to further improve the look and feel of your movie clip. You can change the exposure if your footage is too dark or adjust the color levels or saturation. There's virtually no end to what you can do here. You know what you can do, so now go ahead and play with it. Here's the result. Feel free to request other tutorials or ask anything concerning this and thanks for watching.